bold and it was different and it was outrageous. But as a result of it, everyone thought they could do something great. <laughs> you kind of knew that it was going to be, it was going to really kind of freak people out. So when we saw Lenny come out of the Winnebago with his nipple clamps on, it was like. Oh. The old cliche as you're driving along and a, and a kid steps out in front of you, and you have to, that's the time when you really need your tyres, you have to swerve right around and avoid the kid. So we thought, take that kind of cliche and put it into a completely different context. When I work, um, I kind of plan everything out, and then I, then I kind of um, um, throw it all away. There I was standing on a bridge with a piano that had just been driven by some, you know, pollution brother of mine. And um, I decided um, to, I, I just thought it was only natural that we should throw the piano off the bridge. Yeah, and we did it, and it, you know, thankfully, due to the laws of gravity, you know, you throw the thing in the air, and it kind of, and it flies down, and it, you know, landed roughly where, I, you know, we thought it might land. I was trying to pretend that I was an artist, and I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll take the Dunlop commercial, and I'll take it outside the Tate Gallery, and I'll just ask people, well, what do you think of that? Do you think it, do you think it could potentially be inside the gallery? It's an ad that wants to be arty, that wants to be deep. And in, it's like Charlie Parker playing with strings. You know, he just misunderstood his genius. Ad makers shouldn't want to be Hamlet. You know, that's the really point, you know. Really good ad makers, we should sort of honour. What we shouldn't expect them is to be able to write Shakespeare. I see films like that as like a creative sacrifice that other, that other better films will get made elsewhere. And some people have to, you know, run across the minefield and get a little bit injured so that others can traipse in their, in their footsteps. <laughs> This is the end. 